Bridal March. The, the hymn on page two, the Bridal March, lead us, Heavenly Father, lead us. on them and to share in their job 
Our Lord Jesus Christ was himself a guest at a wedding in Cana of Galilee and blessed this way of life. And through his spirit, he is with us now. The scripture teaches us that marriage is a gift of God in creation and a means of his grace. A holy mystery in which man and woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that as husband and wife give themselves to each other in love through their lives, they shall be united in their love as Christ is united with his church. Marriage is given primarily that husband and wife may comfort and help each other, living faithfully together in need and in plenty, in sorrow and in joy. It is also given that with delight and tenderness, they may know each other in love and through the joy of their bodily union, may strengthen the union of their hearts and lives. Lastly, it is given that they have children and be blessed in caring for them and bringing them up in accordance with God's will to its praise and his glory. In marriage, husband and wife belong to one another and are linked to each other's family and they begin a new life in the community. This is a way of life that all should honor and it must not be undertaken carelessly, lightly or selfishly, but reverently, responsibly and after serious thoughts into this way of life, Chukudi, Nzube and Gospel Ozioma come now to be joined. If anyone can show just cause why they may not lawfully be married, you can now declare it. Chukudi Nzube and Gospel Ozioma the vows you are about to take are to be made in the name of God. And I charge you both, as you will answer God, who is the judge of all, and who knows all the secrets of our hearts, that if either of you know a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. Any reason? No reason. No? Any reason? No reason. No reason. Now, Chukudi, Nzube, of your own free choice, Will you take Gospel Ozuma to be your wife? I will. Will you love her? I will. Comfort, honor, and protect her in sickness and in health, in poverty and in prosperity, and forsaking all others. Be faithful to her as long as both shall live I will. Gospel, Ozioma, of your own free choice, will you take Chukudi Nzube to be your husband? I will. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, obey and serve him in sickness and in health? in poverty and in prosperity and forsaking all others be faithful to him 
As long as God shall live, I will. The Lord be with you. Who gives Ozioma to be married to Zube? Best man, take the this thing from Zube. Zube, face. Okay. But before we proceed, I want you to unveil Ozioma and confirm to me that this is Ozioma. Take you, God's Pulosioma, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. According to God's holy law, this is my solemn vow. Gospel Oziyama, take you. Chukudi Nzube to be my husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better for worse for richer for poorer in sickness and in health to love and to cherish until we are parted by death according to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. What token do you share in to represent your love and commitment to each other? The ring is the symbol of wholesomeness and perfection. It is made of gold, which is a precious and durable metal. What better representation of your feelings for each other? The Lord be with you. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, by your blessing, let these rings be to Chukudi and Ozioma, a symbol of unending love and faithfulness, to remind them of the vows and covenant which they have made this day through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And my love and fidelity to you. And my love and fidelity to you. With my body. With my body. I honor you. I honor you. All that I am. All that I am. I give to you. I give to you. All that I have. All that I have. I share with you. I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God, the Father, the, Father, the, Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a token of my love. And a token of my love. And fidelity to you. And fidelity to you. With my body. With my body. I honor you. I honor you. All that I am. All that I am. I give to you. I give to you. All that I have. All that I have. I share with you. I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. The Father. The Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all, giver of spiritual grace, and author of everlasting life, send your blessings upon Chukudi Nzube and Gospel Ozioma, whom we bless in your name, that living faithfully together they may fulfill the vow and covenant they have made of which the ring given and received is a token and pledge and may remain in perfect love and peace together and live according to your laws through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now that Chukudi Nzube and Gospel Ozioma have given their consent and made their vows to each other before God and this congregation with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of ring in the name of God I declare that they are husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. God the Father, God the Son, 
God the Holy Spirit bless, preserve and keep you. The Lord pour upon you the riches of his grace that you may faithfully live together and receive the blessing of eternal life. Amen. At this point, I want to invite the parents, the parents of the husband and the wife. Let them come forward. They are ministering with me now. The Lord be with you. Today is a very memorable day which every parent look forward to. And so at this point in this service, the parents will give their parental blessing as they pray for their children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, King of glory, we thank you for this day which you have made. Thank you for bringing the head of our church and wife safely to Oka. Thank you for our fathers in the Lord whom you granted journey mercies to be in Oka. To you be all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we want to commit our children into your hands who have been joined together as husband and wife today. Father, we pray for them that this marriage will stand the test of time, that this marriage will be fruitful, this marriage will be prosperous. They will live together as husband and wife. They will live together as brother and sister. And Lord, our Father, we pray that nothing will ever put them apart. Every good thing, O oh God, to make this marriage joyous and prosperity, you will provide in Jesus' name. We cover them in the blood of Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Eternal rock of ages, I give you all the glory. Faithful God, loving Father, thank you for this glorious day. Indeed, it's a day you have made. The Bible said that we will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, as we rejoice with our children today, I'm praying and blessing them, Lord, in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord God, that as, they, as you have joined them together today, they are joined for greater in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, they, are declared, they shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. They shall possess the gates of their enemy in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, they will raise, O oh Lord, generation of kings and queens in the name of Jesus. Lord, nothing shall stand against them in Jesus' name. Any power that will stand against them, Father, you have subdued them already in the name of Jesus. Father, you have blessed them. They remain blessed forever in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, Abba Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as friends and family, let us rise up as we pray for the young couple. My hope is built nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest friend that holy
your hand towards this young couple prophesy and proclaim the word of God the promises of God over their lives blessed is the man whose trust is in the Lord oh that which he has labored with his hands he will eat of it it shall be well with him his wife shall be like a fruitful vine within his house his children will gather around his table. Oh, they will know peace. They will not gather for the enemy to scatter. They will not, oh Lord, labor for the wicked to consume. As that it shall be well with them. God shall make them fruitful. The work of their hands shall be prosperous. God shall raise them as a beacon in their generation. And through them, the Lord shall raise a righteous seed. Lord in your mercy God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit bless, preserve and keep you the Lord mercifully grant you the riches of his grace that you may please him both in body and in soul and living together in faith and love may receive the blessings of eternal life Amen Please be seated. In the name of God and in the presence of this congregation, we hand former Dr. Miss Gospel, Luzioma Ibezim, now Dr. Mrs. Gospel, Luzioma Moto, to you. As a full member of your family, will you promise on behalf of your family to continue to uphold Chukude, Nzube, and gospel Ozioma in your prayers and give them your moral support. Welcome her as your daughter. The Lord be with you. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless and keep you. The Lord pour upon you the riches of His grace that you may faithfully live together and receive the blessings of eternal life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can we give a clap offering to Jesus Christ? This is the day the Lord has made. It's not a day of sorrow. It's a day of joy. Hallelujah. Page 9, the Psalm 1 to 8, item number 6. May we stand?
lesson for the first time as a couple. Our Bible reading for this divine service is taken from St. John's Gospel, chapter 2. John chapter 2. And the third day, there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto him, They have no wine. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. His mother saith unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there was set there six water pots of stone, after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast, and they bear it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. This is the word of the Lord.
Amen. Let's turn to, please arrange the nailers for them. We'll move to suffrages and prayers. Pages 8, 9, following. In for someone. I beg your pardon. Um, we take the hymn for Salmon. Uh, the hymn for Salmon is found on page 12. Um, on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross. Page 12. Item number 11. For the Salmon.
us pray. Eternal Father in heaven, we want to thank you for this opportunity and privilege given unto us to share in your presence, to have fellowship with you and with one another, and to hear your word. May you, O oh God, use your word to encourage your people. Use your word, O oh God, to direct your people. Use your word, O oh God, to bless your people. May you give me utterance and give my audience the understanding and the grace to apply your word. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please, you may be seated. Marriage is good if you follow the golden rules. What did I say? Marriage is good if you follow the golden rules. Permit me to read Genesis chapter 2, verse 18 and to 25. And the Lord said, the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever Adam called each living creature, that was its name. And so Adam gave names to all cattle, to the birds of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper comparable to him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in his flesh place. Then the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman. And he brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man let's stop there and look at Ephesians chapter 5 Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 to 25 and 33 wives submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave herself to her. I go to verse 33. Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself and let the wife see that she respects her husband. This is the word of the Lord. Again, we want to thank God for this beautiful day. Through his mercy, we are alive to be part of this very special location of the wedding of Nzube and Uzioma. Those are the names I want to use in this sermon. First of all, I want to thank the father of our church, the leader of our church, the primate, who ordinarily should be standing here, but has allowed me to do that for him. Your grace, thank you very much. It's a privilege I wouldn't take for granted 
at all. And starting on this privilege, let me welcome our fathers in God who has come from almost every part of this nation to honor our brother and friend. Your graces are my lords. I salute all of you. And our mothers, Mama Nigeria, and other archbishops and bishops' wife who are there, special greetings to all of you. Let me also recognize the executives of Anambra State, the governor as deputy, and all those who came with you. Special greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, at the appropriate time, I think the protocol team will do the rest. And let me also congratulate and rejoice with the Archbishop and his wife, and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Moto, I hope I'm right. Uh, the Archbishop and his wife, the Ibe Zims, and Mr. and Mrs. Moto, uh, for this momentous event happening in your lifetime. Nothing can be more joyful than raising your children to this eighth stage in life where they now settle down and begin to raise their own families. It's a joyful thing. And I want to tell you from experience that the joy of your grandchildren running around, grandpa and grandma, you know, pestering you with questions. For example, uh, grandpa, are you my daddy's father? <laughs> Grandpa, did you go to school? Is it our own school? Grandpa, I'd like to eat with you. Your food is the sweetest. And Grandpa, I saw you in the church today. Are you a pastor? <laughs> These are some of those exciting moments that you will be glad to God for, you know, helping you to raise your children to give you another set of children. And let me also congratulate uh, Nzube and uh, Ozioma. I don't know why you are, you are at my back. I'm supposed to be addressing you this way. We reset this your cathedral. They are supposed to be sitting here so we can look at their eyes and speak to them. You make me now to be turning up and down. Now, we want to congratulate you for making your parents proud. You as you are growing up, you did not allow what derail children to derail you. You were focused. You knew where you were coming from. And today, you are here. I'm sure your parents are proud of you. And we as bishops, we are proud of you. And let me also welcome you to this university we called marriage. University called what? Marriage. Now, this service we are holding here this morning is your registration and matriculation ceremony. After now, you will be guided to your hostel and your classrooms where you will begin your studies. And if I may inform you, you have only courses to study in this university. For instance, you be the husband. You will be studying yourself as a married man because your life as a married man will be different from your life as a bachelor. And then you'll be studying your wife. Because before now you thought you knew her. You know her better when you live as married, husband, uh, married couples. And then for Uzoma, you will be studying yourself as a married woman. Before now you were a, spin, a spinster doing whatever you want to do. Now you're a married woman. You'll be studying yourself and at the same time studying your husband because before now you didn't know her well. You get to know her better. And so, the courses may be too hard for you and there may be the tendency to quit the university or begin to plan to change to another course which is common today. No, you will not do that. I say you will not do that. 
what I will do here this morning is to give you some practical guide. I mean, Nuzube and Uzioma, some practical guide. I'm not going to theologize or theorize anything. I'll give you some practical guides. And to those who are planning to join, you'll also benefit from the guide. And those who have been in marriage and you are having issues or some challenges and difficulties, this guide may help you. Marriage is good. As I said in the beginning, as the topic of my sermon, marriage is good if you obey the golden rules. Now, marriage is good because from where I read to you in Genesis chapter 2 from verse 18, you will discover that it is God's own arrangement and God's institution. God said, it is not good for a man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. In other words, it's not good for the man to, it is good for the man to have someone who will help him in the journey of life. So, God instituted marriage. You know this story very well. After God said this, the next thing God did was to parade animals before Adam, wanting him to give them names. And Adam indeed gave them names. Goat, lion, elephant, and all that. Maybe he was becoming anxious because that may be a test to him. God wanted maybe to see whether he will pick an animal as a wife. Because that feeling is already there. So he didn't pick an animal. Imagine when a man picks an animal to live as a wife. Wahala now, isn't it? Well, some men have made mistakes and picked animals. That is why they can't be happy in their home. So in order not make, to make any mistake, God made him to sleep. God put him on what the doctors will say, anast Anastasia. He slept and God operated on him and took a rib and made a woman. And then when he woke up from that Anastasia, he looked aside and saw, he said, yes, this is the bones of my bones and flesh of my she shall be called a woman. That's how God started marriage. Marriage is good because the word of God says it is good. If you read Psalm 20, chapter 18 verse 22, God says, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. So marriage is good. And Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 says, Marriage is good and or honorable. Marriage is good and goes on to say, especially when the couple are faithful. When you didn't indulge on illicit sex or other things, then marriage is good. Marriage is good because it is for help. Every human being on this earth needs help. You cannot do some things or everything alone. It is for companionship. You need somebody by your side. It is for relationship. It is for partnership. It is for support. It is for encouragement. And it is for compliment. And other things that makes it good. That is why there's always excitement in the air when we gather for a service like this. Look at the environment. See the array of bishops that are gathered here today. Out of joy, out of excitement to come and be with our brethren who is getting to marriage. Adam was so excited. When he woke up and saw his wife beside him, he exclaimed, this is the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. Marriage is good. Unfortunately, our generation is trying to present marriage as bad. That God made a mistake in instituting marriage. Hence, people get married today and tomorrow they divorce. You hear them say, though not in this Nigerian culture or African culture, but we are copying some bad things. You hear them say, My, I have been married for 10 times. 
If you haven't had that, I have had it. That's a program I watch on GSTV, uh, TLC. That's a program they read. Uh, um, um, somebody who's um, ad addicted to marriage. Addicted to marriage. A woman will be proud to say, I've been married 10 times. And today you hear ex wife, ex husband, ex this. Ex In fact, ex has become a common language. And they are proud to say it. Those of them who are involved in boyfriend can say ex boyfriend. So you ex continue to ex and ex and ex and ex before you get married. They, don't, they are finished to you now. They are no longer remaining. By the time you make. 10 ex-boyfriends, what is remaining in your body? Or 10 ex-men? But that is what is happening today. Today we hear almost on daily basis, husbands killing their wives, wives killing their husbands. That is what our generation has marriage, turned marriage into. That will not be your story. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, if marriage is good, what are the golden rules to help you have a good marriage? For you to be happy and enjoy a good marriage the way God ordained it to be, you must apply these two golden rules. These two encapsulates all rules in marriage. If you follow them, others will fall in line. And they can be found in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 25. And verse 33, as I read to you. Now, in that scripture, the Bible said, Wives, somebody say, Wives, submit to your own husband as unto the Lord. Wives, submit to your own husband as unto the Lord. Ozioma, submit to Unzube, your own husband as unto the Lord. Let me explain. Now, why did the scripture mention wives first instead of husband? Know that who God made for man, Adam, to be his wife was a woman, not a fellow man. Is that correct? Don't mind what some people are teaching today. A man marries a woman as a wife. Not a man marrying his fellow man as a wife. That's an aberration. Obaro. Is it Alo or Aro? <laughs> so, wives are very important in marriage relationship. Wives who are women. Without a wife, there's no marriage. What makes marriage what it is, is the presence of a wife. Without a wife, there will be no help, no companion, no support for the man. It is not good for a man to be a loan. He needs a wife as a helper, as a supporter, as a companion. And the man is not complete without a wife. So if the purpose of making you a woman, a wife to a man, must be actualized, the wife must submit to her husband now what does submission imply it implies that woman Uzoma, you will yield and accept the authority of your husband yield and accept the authority of your husband this will involve accepting his authority will involve obedience do what he said you should uh, Respect and honor the man who is your own husband. Whatever he says you should do, do it. Give him what he wants anytime, anywhere. And you know what man wants. What does he want? Food and you know. Food and sex. You know, sometimes they say, why are you calling that in the church? We have refused to 
mention sex in the church and people are making, collecting wrong information from outside. So it's important we say it. Give man food and there. Uh, anywhere, anytime, any day, without excuse, except on agreement. That's what the Bible says. That's submission. Don't claim equality with the man, with your husband. Submit as unto the Lord. Now what does it mean? Ozioma, not taking for granted that you are a bishop's daughter. Let's assume that you have ever submitted and given your life to Jesus as Lord and personal Savior. I'm sure you must have done that one day in your life. If you have done that, then that is how you should surrender to your husband and submit to him as the way you did unto Jesus as Lord and personal Savior. Did you get that? So, your husband, just as Jesus is your Lord and Master and Savior, submit to your husband because your husband is your head. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 says, the head, of every, the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is man. So, your head makes you complete. If any man or any woman without a head enters here, what will happen? People will run away. So you are complete when you have a head. So, your head gives you value. Your head is your what? So, Ozioma, your husband, being your head, qualifies you and quantifies you, which means before now, you were headless. You didn't have a head. <laughs> but now you have a head. So you are complete. And you have a value. I mean, before now, those who don't respect you, they will now begin to rest. See, and you, if they don't want to respect you, can show them. See, I'm a married woman. You have value, you have respect. So, therefore, Treat your husband with honor and respect. Talking about suspicion here. Treat your husband with honor and respect. He should own you. Your husband should be in charge. The way you treat something, you know, on every woman's, every person's head, there's something that we care for. And what's that? On your head, something is there that you care for so much. Hair. What's your man? The way you handle your hair, you go do your hair, you make it fine. Handle your husband there like that. That is submission. And then number two is love. He says, husbands, love your wife just as also love the church, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. And verse 28 to 29 says, husbands, ought to love your own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves, his, loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but not his and cherishes it. Then verse 3 said, let each of you love your own wife, even as himself. Now, when the wife submits, the husband has no excuse than to shower his life, wife with affection. Shower her with love. In marriage, submission will automatically attract love. Now, love here is not what young men and women practice today. I love you, I love you, I love you, and you are committing evil. It's not that one. Love is more than that is to have intense feeling and show affection to your own wife that leads to sacrifice. Love will lead you to paying any price like Christ did for his bride, the church. Going out of your comfort zone for the woman who you have taken as your wife. The husband must do everything and anything to make the wife feel complete. To feel good and feel happy. And that is why 
the way you are sitting, Nzube, your wife is sitting by your left hand. Do you know why? Let me tell you. It is your duty to protect Ozioma against any kind of attack. So she's sitting at your left hand so that if there's any attack confronting her, use your right hand to do what? To defend her and fight for her. You understand that? It's your duty to protect your wife. Take care of her. So she can complete a fight for her. That is why she seated there. Then you look at your wife. You, I can see Ozioma is a very beautiful young lady. Every day as you wake up, look at her face and say, honey, or sugar, or sweetie. I don't know what you will call her. Or baby. Say, you look beautiful every day. Are you hearing me? Look at her dressing when she dresses up. Appreciate her. Oh, my wife, this dressing today is so good on your body. In fact, before any person could appreciate her outside, you would have done that. That's to show love to her. To show that you care. And then, provide for her and care for her no matter what it will cost you. Provision is important to women. Caring is important to women. Now, you may be providing everything, but you don't show a kind of care. The woman will not recognize it too. So, as you provide, show that you do what? You care for her. And then, show love, not just by mouth. I love you, I love you, I love you. What are you showing? What are you doing to show that you love? Let me tell you, how to show love. When you, are, when you go out, maybe you came to a conca. You came into a conca. When you are going back to the house, pick something. No matter how small. Honey, I brought this for you. You are showing love. Because love is more practical. You cannot say, I love you, I love you, I love you, and there's nothing to show with it. Nothing to show. Bible said, God so loved the world that he did what? He gave. To show that God loves us, he did what? He gave his only begotten son. So, as Jesus loved by giving his life, to show us love. So you must be ready to sacrifice anything for your wife. Mr. Bede, did you hear? Be ready to sacrifice. Jesus showed us love by giving his life. Therefore, be ready to sacrifice anything to show that you love your wife, no matter the cost. And in submitting and loving, you'll be able to handle yourself when matters arise. If the wife submits, and the wife loves. When matters arise, did I say matters arise? Did I say matters arise? Of course. Because in marriage, matters must arise. Hello. Eh, I've never beaten my wife before. I have never not lie. You must not, you may not have beaten her, but you have harassed, hashed on her. Eh, who kept this in here? Eh? This woman said, What did you keep this in here? Misunderstanding have started. And remember that Nzube and Ozioma, you came from different backgrounds, different families, different parents. You were raised in different ways. But you are coming together to be one. In the process of living as one, there must be one disagreement somewhere now. Eh? I don't like this. I like this. It must arise. It must arise. But how you handle these things when they arise depends on two of you. When matters arise as they must arise, how you handle them depends on two of uh, you. Two of you. Depends on two of you. How you handle these matters. That will show how submissive and how loving both of you are. When I hear husband kiss wife or wife kiss husband, I ask, how did they get to this point? Maybe you could get to this point because 
Submission and love is missing. In fact, this couple, they are not marrying. They are only managing themselves. You know, Ibo man will say, D, I don't know whether they say it, D wound D, D. Have you heard that before? D wound. So they have been there near D, each other. They were not marrying. They were just managing themselves. And then the husband has been a horse whip. You know what horse whip is? Horse whip. Koboko. So the husband has been a koboko, horse whip. Whipping the husband. And the, the, the wife would have been um, a house knife, kitchen knife, cutting the marriage up and down, whipping each other and cutting each other. But when matters like this are like, how do you handle them? Let me just teach you something simple. Because how you handle this is matter. Some will invite friends, some will invite their neighbors, some will invite parents and pastors. I call these ones you are inviting consultants without pay. Marriage consultants without uh, pay. They may or may not help you. Some of them will so put salt and pepper and make it to be very hot. Husband and wife, don't play God. Don't be too wise. Someone has to play the fool because two captains cannot stay to control a ship. Are we together? Somebody must play the fool. Or you play the, the public relations principle of the dog. You say, you fall for me, I fall for you, we are playing. But where I fall for you, and you stand and look at me, you don't fall for me, then it means you are fighting. Somebody must fall for each other. Somebody must play the fool. And it is men most time that should play the fool. Hey, if those young man begins to behave like a woman, the way women behave, sometimes close your eyes. Did you hear me? Behave as if you don't know. Because if you react the way the woman is behaving, there will be fire every day. Am I speaking to somebody? So, the next thing you will do, I must tell you, if you have issues, is go to court. <laughs> go to not what you think. The court you will go to is the other room. Your bedroom is your court. You will see the judge there. And who is the judge? Your bed. Your bed is the judge. And you will see the lawyers. It could be two or three or four lawyers. Like uh, San Belu Lisadem. You will see them on the bed. And that is your pillows. They are the lawyers. Then you begin to examine yourself. Look at yourself directly on the eyes. And put it to you. Did you or did you not? Examine yourself. Talk to yourselves. And that is what you call communication. My dear sister, my dear brother, whatever is the matter, talk. Are you hearing me? Be able to share. Talk, talk, talk. Open up. Hide nothing. It's very, very important. Then, as you are talking, if eventually you find that you are at fault and you are guilty in this matter, say, I am sorry. Don't be too arrogant to say, honey, I am very... Darling, I am very... He handles a lot of things. He solves a lot of problems. But when you begin to feel so arrogant or so big, especially some women, you people find it difficult to say sorry. In fact, if that matter must end, the man must say, eh? Yes, now. So, let us learn to say sorry to each other. Then, as you are talking and you are saying sorry, you embrace yourselves, you hold yourselves, you cuddle yourselves, and you express your emotions to each other. And that matter is settled. Nobody will hear that you had a misunderstanding. When you come out from the court, your face will be glowing. You will be smiling and happy because the matter had been 
Did you hear me? Then let me say something to all of those of us sitting here, the witnesses. You have come to witness this matriculation ceremony or marriage ceremony as parents and friends. I have a word for you. You are only duty, parents, archbishop, and your in laws, and all of us sitting there. Your only duty to this couple is not to come when you are not wanted. Pray for them. Do what? Don't intrude. Don't be a marriage consultant without fee. Allow them to be. Allow them to do what? To be. Don't intrude. Friends, be careful what you tell the man about his wife. Be careful what you tell the woman about his uh, husband. Don't be a knife to cut them and divide them. Uh, Isabel, that, uh, that girl, you, that doctor you married, I saw her at a, at, at a call care the other day. The way she was looking, what she was doing, I didn't like it too. Uh, also, that husband you said you married, I saw him at Tonisha the other day. The way he was behaving, in fact, uh, that guy, that person you married is something else. Uh, please keep your mouth soon. Keep your mouth shut. Allow them to be. Be. Allow them to be. Stop sending messages no person asked for you. Because what God has put together, you should be not be the one to put a asunder. Even if there's a matter between them and you know, don't put them out. Because the day they will settle, if you have spoken to them and the advice you gave them was wrong, you become an enemy. Is that correct? So, don't put them out. Finally, if you must live happily, Ozioma read a scripture to us. John chapter 2, verse 1 to 11. In a matter setting, the presence of Jesus made the difference. You know the story very well. The, because Jesus was invited to that wedding, the difference was very clear. You must invite Jesus into your home. First of all, invite him into your lives if you have not. But if you have, if you have then invite him into your home, into your marriage. That is when the two keys, submission and love, will be useful to you. Don't shut your door against Jesus. Open the door of your heart. Open the door of your home to him. For him to come in and he shall be well with you. Remember the song we used to sing in those years in scripture in Nigeria. I said, When Jesus is in the family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. When Jesus is in the family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. To live happily. In your marriage, in your family, Jesus must be present. He will help you to express love and submission to each other. May God help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. And so, Father, we thank you for your word. Lord Jesus, may you come into this home. May you come into every other home that is here this day as they open their house and hearts to you. Go in and take control. Go in and be their master, their savior. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please, let's stand. May we all stand, please. Please be seated. Today is a joyous day. And because of that, we entertain three choirs to render anthems. But to redeem the time, each choir will give us one anthem. Give us your best.
and temper the choirs. One, one, each. Please don't waste our time, I beg you.
Walker. Thank you very much. Can you clap for them again, again and again? The next hymn shall be sung solemnly. Um, please kindly conduct the couple and uh, provide the needle properly as they move there. Page 10. Oh, perfect love, all human thoughts transcending. Page 10, the hymn item 8. 707. To the song, Kneeling. Let's turn to page 9, session number 7. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. 
Lord have mercy. Thank you very much. At this moment, the newest couple of the day and the week, Dr. and Dr. Mrs. Nzubemoto, we go to sign their marriage certificate. We will take, we'll be taking the hymns that follows page 13. Hymn B, O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works thy hands had made. Page 13, paragraph B.
Now we all rise. Now we rise. Amen. Please be seated. Please be seated. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We give all glory and honor to the Almighty God. For keeping us to see today as we celebrate and solemnize the marriage between Nzube Chuku and Ozioma. Nzube, God bless you. Ozioma, God bless you. Marriage is the only institution that the day you register, your certificate is delivered to you. And then you spend the rest of your life depend, defending that certificate. We know how to issue it and give. We don't know how to retrieve it. And this shall never be retrieved. The Lord will bless and establish you. And you also, just as your parents witness this, you will see your children's children and peace shall be upon your home. And so, in the name of God, we give to you your marriage certificate in the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. celebration of your marriage we give to you a copy of the word of God read meditate pray believe and hold to this word the God who has brought you to this point will keep you to the end in the name of God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
a clap of friends to Jesus. The Abishwa Metropolitan, the primate, will take picture and Mama Nigeria um, with the parents of the youngest couple, after which our fathers can also move. Our fathers, please, can, for want of time, can we all join? When we finish, our mothers, the bishop's wives, our bishop's wife and bishop's wife, we take with them. Your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children surround your table. You shall see your children's children. Thus says the Lord of the rest. Your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children surround your table. You shall see your children's children. Thus says the Lord of the rest. Your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children surround your table. You shall see your children's children. Thou says the Lord of God. Oh, yes. Your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children surround your table. You shall see your children's children. Thou says the Lord of And the couple, the primate, his wife, and the couple, the primate, his wife, and the couple, 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 the 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 vicious wife all our mamas our vicious wives and vicious wife please get ready to go and take your photographs executively the ambitious wife vicious wives our great and event mothers please proceed for your beautiful and elegant photographing thank you The Lord has blessed you today. Your blessings is permanent. How many children you give me? No matter what. How many children you give me? No woman I need them. 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 Please, it's only His Excellency we snap with the primate. The mothers should wait. His Excellency with the primate and the couple. Please give God for His Excellency and His executives and deputy governor please this is the day of joy the day please of the joy. senators to join the day of joy. this is the day of joy the day of joy the lord has made hallelujah it's in the day of joy 
Can you make way for the bishop wives? After this, kindly make way for the bishop's wives. Wait, it's bishop's wife. That is from His Excellency, the Governor of Anambra State, and the Deputy. Then, bishop's wives. After the governor can we make space for the bishop's wife, our great mothers. Are you the lady in heaven? Oh, he has made all this beautiful. He has made all this glamorous. Please, please, please. please. Please let us take the pictures orderly. Now it is the time for bishop's wives. If you are not a bishop wife, please clear from this place. Mama Nigeria and the bishop's wives, please. Okay. No, bishop's wife to take. Bishop's wives. And if the space won't be enough for bishop's wife, you will split into two. One section will take. Another session we take. Camera, make sure you capture all the bishops' wives. These are special mothers of the day. Our revered mother in Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion. Please, after the bishops' wife, Mama Nambra. Is there Mama Baji Siaba? Please join me. Bring her. And please, Mama Nambra, please join. The chairman of the occasion, Ojelibo, please join for the picture. Ojelibo, please. Ojelibo, please. And the royal father of Umbaku, please join. And royal fathers. Senator Victor, man, please join. All the royal fathers, please join. If you are not a royal father, please clear. I will call order. The uh, legal team, you people wait so that the royal fathers will take. Later, you join. Son, one for. I will call you people. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Please join. Those not called, remember. No, for the after this, other pictures will be outside. Igwe, join. Okay. The provincial bishops, wives. Please, photographs. Very fast. Thank you. 
San Walker leading the Lega team. Please join very fast. And the Abga chairman. The provision mothers, can you please? Let, let her team wait. Let the provision women, Mama, oh yeah, go now. When do you finish? They go. So that we, after this, other pictures outside. Thank you. And this is the last one. Please, Lega team, please, can you join? Thank you very much. Now it's time for the couple to take their thanksgiving along with us. The gospel band, I hope you are charging for action. You know, you have been shaking and shaking and shaking. Um, the hour has, has come. You know, I'm a member of this community. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Yeah. Yeah. So we. We invite the gospel band, get ready. Um, after this short moment, we'll take the thanksgiving. The couple will do their thanksgiving for the first time as a couple. And after the thanksgiving, our Father in God, the Archbishop Emeritus of Ibado, His Grace, Most Reverend Okubadejo, will bless them. So after the thanksgiving and prayers, the father of the day, um, the father of uh, Dr. Ozioma Moto, His Grace, the Most Reverend Alexander, Dr. Ibezim, will greet us at the end of the thanksgiving and prayers. Gospel on what together? Hada to you. Be all the glory to you, Jesus. Be all the honor to you, Papa. Be all the glory and adoration Thank you. 
Let us pray. O oh God of love, we so much appreciate what you have done for us today. You gave us a good weather. We have felt your presence even at this matrimony service. We thank you that as we have joined them together physically, you have joined them together spiritually. So we thank you, our Father and our God, for this new home that has started today. Let it be a home of peace. Let it be a home of joy. We pray, our Father and our God, as they go on this journey, be their companion, be their God, and be their guide. As the name of Oziyama, Gospel, good news. Good news will not lack in your home. Good news of children will be there. Good news of sound health will be there. Amen. Good news of grace will be there. Amen. Good news of sound health will be there. Amen. Day by day, no ill shall touch you. Amen. No ill shall come near your abode. Amen. Day by day, you will go out in peace. Amen. And you come out, you come in in peace. Amen. Day by day, God will spread table of good things before you, even in the presence of your enemies. Amen. And it shall be well with you. We thank you for the two families that you have joined together even today. Our Father and our God, make this union a permanent one in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for these two, our Father and our God, this new home shall be rooted in truth in the name of Jesus Christ. This new home shall be sustained with love and in love in the name of Jesus Christ and it shall be well with them. We off our offerings we offer unto you, our Father and our God. Bless our offerings. Continue to provide for all our needs in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Your Grace. At this juncture, I want to invite our host and uh, Father of the Day, the Bishop of Oka and the Archbishop of the Province of Niger, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Alexander Ibezim, to welcome a number of guests. After which, final prayer and benediction by our Father in God, the primate of all Nigeria. We give God all the glory and the honor for today, especially without wasting time trying to appreciate our dear Father in God, the primate of all Nigeria, who has graciously sacrificed a lot to be here with us. Yesterday, we know what it means for you to be here. It was not an easy thing. We appreciate you and Mama Nigeria for this kind of love you bestowed upon us by honoring us today. We are not taking it for granted. So help us to welcome the primate of all Nigeria, the most reverend doctor, Henry Ndokoba, and his wife, Mama Nigeria. We thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. The Lord will strengthen you continuously in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This primate have already told me that this is our day, that we should take things easily. And uh, I quite really 
appreciate it. All the prayers that we are said for our children. I, I really jealous them because when I waited, I didn't know such prayers were not said like that. <laughs> and so children of nowadays, they are so lucky. <laughs> I know when I waited, how many bishops came? <laughs> I, it was the provost of my cathedral who waited us in those days. But you can see that uh, the children now are so lucky. And that's why I believe they can do more than the, us, their parents. So, uh, Ozioma and the husband, I jealous you people. You have no reason to fail. Uh, and am I not correct? Yes. <laughs> so, really thank God. Please, the primate, permit me to acknowledge the church fathers here because you know it's not easy. Just to, I'll be very fast just to mention your name because coming here is a. It's a big encouragement to all of us. We welcome the most reverend Dr. Blessing Enyinda, the Dean of Church of Nigeria, who preached to us. We have learned a lot from your sermon. God bless you, sir, in Jesus' name. We welcome the most reverend Segun Okubadejo. We welcome the most reverend E.O. Chukuma. We welcome the most reverend Bennett. Dr. Bennett Okoro. We welcome the Most Reverend Professor Godwin G.I.N. Okpara. Most Reverend Marcus Ibrahim. Most Reverend Isaac Mwabia. Most Reverend Israel Afolabia Moro. Most Reverend Edmund Akanya. And we welcome the Most Reverend Cyril Odutemo. And we welcome our dear Father in the Lord, the Most Reverend Boba Lamido. You know, Dean Emeritus of Church of Nigeria. Please permit me to welcome these fathers in the Lord who are here. We appreciate all of you. The Right Reverend William. William has already left to go back. William Aladekubwe. Right Reverend Ike Ebuono, Right Reverend uh, Tambari, Right Reverend Sostenes Eze, Right Reverend Rafo Kafo, Right Reverend Anim, Right Reverend Wakama Onyekachi, Right Reverend Osachi, Right Reverend Sam Chukuoka, Right Reverend Chambalin Ogunedo, Right Reverend Ekbenisi, Right Reverend Pro Salma, Right Reverend Adorawa. Please, we are not calling according to seniority. We recognize the right reverend, uh, right reverend Israel Okoye, right reverend Musa Tola, right reverend Madubike, right reverend Uzochuku. Right Reverend Jezre Van De, Right Reverend Ishaya Jamfalin, Right Reverend Zumbes, Right Reverend Wonole, Right Reverend Chuku Nweike, Right Reverend Emmanuel Morris, travel as far as Medugri. We are so grateful to you. You see why we have to just mention them. Right Reverend Elabo of Isan, Right Reverend Olinya, Right Reverend Manase Okere, Right Reverend Wogu and Right Reverend Johanna Audo, who traveled as far as Damaturu, we welcome you. And we welcome. We welcome the Right Reverend Ephraim Ikako. We welcome the Right Reverend Joseph Mosa. We welcome the Right Reverend Benjamin. Ewuchola as far from Otrupo. We welcome Right Reverend Chijoka Aneke. We welcome Right Reverend Geoffrey Chukunenya of Oru. Right Reverend Stanley Fube. Wow. You see, as far from Lantan to come. I think, Your Excellency, you have a lot of visitors in your state today. It's because this is Nigeria here in Anambra State. We have the Right Reverend. Iken, if I may, Right Reverend Akobe from Kaba, Right Reverend Okamwa, 
Right Reverend Sam Ezofo, Right Reverend Drew Ajay. My Your Grace, the Primate, I really want to mention this to you, that when my daughter Ozioma was posted to do youth service in Ekiti, and the people were suggesting to us to change the location of her service. But I called the Bishop of Ekiti and said, my daughter was posted to Ekiti. What do we do? And he said he should come, that he himself will personally go and pick her up. And the Bishop Ajayi did that to us. He picked gospel up, took her to, took her to the orientation camp. And the, it was in that camp where they were, later they were posted to the hospital. Up to five people has proposed to gospel, but right there in that hospital, two people, two medical doctors proposed to her, and she chose this one that waited her. And they, <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was a, a Bishop Ajayi that did mar the marital counseling. <laughs> And so I really want to appreciate him on our behalf. You know, wonderful. So it made the work easy for me. And they were visiting him and he was counseling them. And they look at them today. That's, uh, please, I, I thank you. Himself and Mama Jai, God have used them in a very mighty way. Yes. And we thank God for Bishop Tabwai Moses. Bishop Henry Okeke and the, all the other ones. We want to also welcome all our mothers in the Lord. We will not call you by name, but we have already thanked Mama Nigeria. So we use Mama Nigeria as a point of contact to say thank you, our dear mothers. The Lord will bless you. You have trained us and we will continue to be what you have made us to be. The Lord will bless our mothers in Jesus' name. And we want to thank uh, Nediogo. We used to call her Nediogo because that is her name. That is Mama Blessing Anikwemwa. She is always there. That's the way she is in the church. Yes. And please now, with the permission of the primates, permit me to welcome the executive governor of Anambra State. Without, you know, he came to the service. Uh, uh, that is Professor Charles Soludo. We welcome you to St. Faith. Uh, yes. And not only the governor is here, the deputy governor of Anambra State is here. He's Dr. Onye Kachukwi Bezim, Sir Dr. Onye Kachukwi Bezim, and his wife. Uh, please permit me, the, uh, the chairman of APGA, the national chairman of APGA, he, he is here. You know, please, we, we, really, we really thank God. Uh, and the Catholic Bishop of Oka sent a strong delegation and the, and the Arch Catholic Archbishop of Onisha sent also a very strong delegation. We appreciate you. Please, can we acknowledge them, please? And permit me to welcome the Senator Ndi Obi Ojelibo. Ojelibo, Senator Ndi Obi. He is going to chairman the reception today. And the Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Wofo, who is representing the legacy. San Wafer, we recognize them. And we recognize the member representing Oka North and South in the House of Representatives, Professor Lilian Orobo. We recognize you. We thank you. Please permit me to recognize the Executive Governor Emeritus of Anambra State, the only m mama we have in Anambra, Mama Anambra, Mama Vaji Etiaba. Wow. Mama, we thank you. Wow. And we recognize Honorable Justice Peace Oti with other justices. And the representative of the Chief Judge of Anambra State is also here. And the uh, Pito B, 
Mr. Pitobi, he visited us, brought a lot of cartons of wine and other things. He's out of the country. He's represented by Professor Stella Okuna, the Severin represented. And we want to recognize our distinguished senator. This is the senator that is represented all Canada and South. I have not omitted you. The senator represented Anambra Central, my good friend. When we were in Enugu campus, we were living in the same hostel. And now he's a senator, but I'm an archbishop now. And, uh, and he know that I'm more powerful than him. <laughs> so I represent Senator Victor Ume. Please stand up and let them recognize you, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yes. Uh, permit me, please, to recognize the traditional ruler of my hometown. My dear primates, please, this traditional ruler, apart from Igwe of Newi, who is the oldest ruling traditional ruler, he has been on the throne for 54 years. Yes. And so, he's a very influential traditional ruler, former director of Julius Bega. And uh, he's a they used to call him, I will not mention the name here in the church. <laughs> it's not because I don't want to mention the name. It's almost. <laughs> you are great, the primates. There are a lot of lecturers from Unisic and teaching hospital in the Newi because a lot of the two uh, people that we waited this morning are medical doctors. So I acknowledge those that train Dr. Gospel. I will not call all of you name by name. You are, too, you are so many. We acknowledge you. Uh, the Lord will bless you. All the medical team. Can we clap for them, please? And we recognize Igwera Fekbe. Igwera Fekbe. Igwokuno. These are traditional rulers. I saw Roban. Roban Sauce. Please, Roban, please stand. God bless you. We must recognize Ansa Etele. We acknowledge you. you uh, Dofas, we acknowledge all of you. And the, the chairman of the Council of Night, Sir Professor Ema Ezemaji. We welcome you. Can we clap for the Council of Knights and Ladies, please, please? And the Commandant of Civil Defense. There are so many important personalities that are here. We acknowledge you. I now recognize Ndiogom, Ndikwalungwangwai, Ndasiri, Kendo Zubulu. So my daughter has now become an Ozubulu citizen. So I recognize Mr. and Mrs. Simoto. We, we really thank you. It's a very quiet people. We thank you. And representative from Paul University and the Nam Diazikiwe University, the Vice Chancellor of Paul University and other people. Please, we need people to be in the reception because we have prepared for everybody. Don't just go home because today is a door celebration. I really thank God for everything. I thank God for the primate. If I have not greeted anyone, please forgive us. And the nursing council people, our nursing students from the College of Nursing, and the, all the people that are here. And the beautiful choirs. You people have done us well. And the beautiful choir. And the clergy. Uh, and the, I want also to use this opportunity to let the primate know that a lot of people assisted us in this wedding. It's wonderful people. I, I don't have to mention their name. Please, all those who have helped in one way or the other, the Lord will repay you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank my clergymen because the clergymen, they helped us, they prayed, and they monitored a lot of good things that happened here. You, what you see here is a product of people working from behind. So we clap for the clergymen and their wives. We appreciate you. The Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. So please, with the permission of the primates, I want to call on the governor of Anambra State in order to say something to us. So please, somebody give a clap offering to the Lord Jesus as the governor calls on.
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Kelenu Jehovah Nehi no Dema. Kelenu Jehovah Nehi no Dema. Tabo bose anole, bose ne na bori rojo, bo. Aha, so make up you guys. Um, your aggressors, and most importantly, the Archbishop, Metropolitan, and Primate of all Nigeria, who, and I want to use him as a point of contact to greet all the. Uh, only in all of you now they're dressed as if you're already ascending into heaven I am going to get my own red and put on so I can join this uh, ascension I, I want to welcome all of you I want to join my brother and friend the Archbishop of Oka Diocese and um, in welcoming all of you to Anambra State, the light of the nation. There is no speech to be made. Today is not a day for long speeches. It's just to welcome you. It's a joyful day. A long day has been spent. I've come to join my friend, the family of Dr. I mean, uh, Archbishop and Mama Diastasai. And then also the Deputy Governor of Anambra and Lady, the Ibe Zims, and the new couple. It's a celebration time. And I want to say congratulations to all of you. And to say congratulations to the new couple. <coughs> ah. You know, the wedding ended about 30 minutes into this service isn't it the moment the primate pronounced them husband and wife the wedding ended they were now mr and mrs moto Oria. everything else had a cause about ceremony and i could see them just looking at us and saying because you may if i say so can manage our From there to the reception, it's all ceremony now. Even the sermon, when the sermon was going on, quite a lot of things to note, to remind ourselves. But I just said, I know these guys, they went through the marriage uh, course, and so on and so forth. So they had all these things, but it was just for a reminder. And I could say from their body, even when we were taking photographs, they were more like saying, please, you guys should hurry up, let's finish. So even at the reception, I'm sure at the reception, they will be looking at the time and wondering we should all disappear from here. Let them proceed on their honeymoon. But I want to say big congratulations to both of you. That's what we've come here to do. No speeches. But let me say one thing, last thing, that has impressed me the most attending this event. It's something I'm not quite sure many people will notice, but I took very special notice of that. And that is that the newest husband in town, his name is uh, Chukode Nzube, full stop. And I was struck by that. Because it took me back to what I call the cultural authenticity, the cultural renaissance in the Igbo and Africa. And how our founding fathers struggled to reinvent the African identity with their names. Nam Daziki went through away Benjamin. I don't think anybody here, most people don't remember, he ever had Benjamin in his name. Or Bafemi Awalowa or Jeremiah. Nobody remembers that. Chino Achebe, Mokugo Koye. Name them. Long list of the freedom fighters, those who brought us to where we are, our founding fathers. I have been struggling myself to throw away where I grew up and I was being called Charles. 
I've been struggling all my life to throw it away and bring Chukuma. But I congratulate my deputy who has successfully thrown away Gilbert. None of my children answers any English name. None. And I have six of them. We insisted that they will be given authentic Igbo names. And I asked about the basis for all this English and so on. And I was told even the basis for this is that once it's a name that is not offensive to Christianity, it could be used for baptism. And that's why my children, in this authenticity, are all answering Igbo names. No English. And so I was struck by this today. And I needed to make this point. That I love seeing this Chukwode Nzgobe. And my prayer is that that authenticity, is not, they're not just names. You are carrying a message with your names. You are carrying a very major message about who we are. Our identity. I remember a former president of Nigeria when we were at an executive council meeting. And somebody who wanted to impress him started calling out his full names and mentioned the English name. He fled up, you know, with all jury, bang the place. Stop that. It was very stupid. <laughs> he took offense at the mention of that English name. And he simply called by his, I don't want to say so that you don't know whom I'm talking about. That's just that. I wish my prayer for the new couple is that that authenticity, the African authenticity, the Igbo authenticity, because what I say the couple today, I say Chuko Den Zube and Ozioma. I'm the other one I'm from Unka, from the English one. <laughs> I just saw Chuko Den Zube and Ozioma wedded today as Mr. and Mrs. Moto. And that is what we've come to celebrate. May this authenticity reside with you throughout the rest of your life. And may we all also in the Bialabia learn one or two things from the authenticity which they exude and which they have started with. It's not just a name. There is something in that name. And it tells us who we are. And that's our identity. I want to thank all of you. We'll go down to the other merriment and so on and so forth. And when he can cast, then when make you my deputy, he will eat on my, my own share of it um, at the reception. Because, um, you know, this job, you guys employed us. I said, no, but I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the I have about six others to attend. Uh, today is Saturday. But this is a great way to start the day. I want to welcome all of you at once more. Those who have traveled far and near, Anambra is rising. And as I say, enjoy the rest of your hours and days in Anambra State. Thank you very much and may God bless all of you. The Lord be with you. We rise up as we take the doxology and pray.
us kneel and let us pray. Heavenly Father, maker of all things, you enable us to share in your heavenly work of creation. Bless Chukwude and Ozioma with the gift and care of children that their home may be a place of love, security, truth, and care. Bless them with children who will grow up before them. Help them to bring them to the knowledge and love of you. We commit them to your mighty hands, trusting that you will keep them through this life's journey. Watch over them and let your presence go with them through Jesus Christ our Lord. O oh, Almighty God, who has created and redeemed us and made us partakers of your blessings and promises. Verse chief, we beseech thee to direct and sanctify and govern both our bodies and our hearts by your commandments that through your mighty protection both here and ever we may be preserved in body and soul through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Unto God's gracious keeping mercy and protection we commit you all. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you his peace. And may the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you now and evermore. serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.
shoulder 